eighth grade. I hope you're doing well. Today we will be in Proverbs chapter 24. So let's start with prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your guidance and direction. We thank you for your word and the wisdom that we can glean from it, Lord. I just pray that you would guide and direct us as we learn today and help the words that I speak to be yours. I pray all these things in your name. Amen. Proverbs chapter 24. It's about two and a half pages long. Do not envy wicked men. Do not desire their company. For their hearts plot violence, and their lips talk about making trouble. So again, you know, saying stay away from wicked men, wicked people. Um, they're, they're always looking for bad things. My, my, the, verse three. My wisdom, a house is built. Sorry, by wisdom, a house is built. And through understanding, it is established. Through knowledge, its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. So, this is talking about, you know, how a house, how, how anything comes by wisdom and good decisions. You know, it's, it's not like, oh, I just think I'm going to do this today, and then it works out. No, there's some thought and wisdom and action put into things. A wise man has great power, and a man of knowledge increases strength. For waging war, you need guidance. For and for victory, many advisors. So, a wise person can have great power, but they're also going to have these people around them that are going to be guiding and directing them in the way that they should go. And it's not just this random decision that they'll be making on their own. Um, a lot of times when a person is focused on something just on their own, and they're not seeking the guidance and direction of other people is when you have issues. <laughs> so seeking other guidance is important. Verse 7. Wisdom is too high for a fool. And the... Wisdom is too high for a fool. In the assembly at the gate, he has nothing to say. So, like, a foolish person, a person that's not going to make good decisions, like, wisdom is too far from him. Like, they can't, it's something that's out of his reach. You know, it's like, if you only go to school until 8th grade, something that would be out of your reach is becoming a doctor. Because becoming a doctor requires, you know, finishing all the way through high school and then going to a four-year college and then medical school and residency. Like, if you're not willing to work for something, you can't expect it to happen. Okay. Verse eight. He who plots evil will be known as a schemer. The schemes of folly are sin, and men detest a mocker. So he who's scheming evil, plotting evil, like they're thinking about it, um, they're sinning. And they're gonna, they'll be destroyed because what they're doing is not right and they shouldn't be plotting all these evil things. It's a bad thing. Um, and men are gonna detest. People are not gonna want to be around somebody that's constantly making fun of somebody somebody that's constantly sinning, just living in a way that they shouldn't. If, if you falter in times of trouble, how small is your strength? So that's saying like, when difficult times come, if your first instinct is to just give up, well that's hard so I'm not going to do it, then that's saying you're not very strong. Like, a strong person says, okay, 
yeah, this is difficult, but we're going to get through this. I'm, not, I'm going to figure it out. That's what that's saying. Verse 11. Rescue those being led away to death. Hold back those staggering toward slaughter. If you say, but we knew nothing about this, does not he who weighs the heart perceive it does not he who guards your life know it will he not repay each person according to what he has done so that is saying you know be there for those that are tr going down the wrong path try to guide them and direct them in the right direction so that they, they don't that they don't go down the right path wrong path Um, those that are protecting their life, those that are going down the right path, like, they know, hey, I'm, I'm doing the right thing, I'm following the right thing, you know, they're seeking after the Lord, and they know, they know that and understand it. Verse 13, eating honey, my son, eat honey, my son, for it is good. Honey from the comb is sweet to your taste. Know also that wisdom is sweet to your soul. If you find it, there is a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. So this is saying, you know, seek after sweet, sweet, sweet things. Seek after good things. Seek after things that are that aren't gonna lost, be lost. Things that aren't gonna go away. And they'll last and they'll help you. Verse 15. Do not lie and wait like an outlaw against a righteous man's house. Do not raid his dwelling place. For though a righteous man falls seven times, he rises again. But the wicked are brought down by calamity. This is saying, don't, don't, those that are trying to get away from what they deserve, those that are trying to live in an evil way, um, don't, don't be a part of those. Don't be a part of those people. And then righteous and good people, even though so bad things happen to them because they're following the Lord, because they're doing what they should, Times will get better, and they'll be able to, to get up when times get difficult. Verse 17. Do not gloat when your enemy falls. When he stumbles, do not let your heart rejoice. Or the Lord will see and disapprove, and turn his wrath from, from him. So this is saying... When bad things happen to those people that are your enemies or people that you don't like, don't be, yeah, that happened to them. Like, don't have that reaction. Just let the Lord take care of it and move on. Do not fret because of evil men or be envious of the wicked. For the evil man has no future hope and the lamp of the wicked will be snuffed out don't be jealous of evil people don't sit there and be like oh i really want what they have because their time is coming too they will have a consequence for their choices and their actions we just have to believe that the lord will take care of the situation fear the lord and and the king my son and do not join with the reb rebels rebellious for those two will send sudden destruction upon them. And who knows what calamity they can bring. Um, so this is saying respect your rulers, our presidents, 
government officials because the Lord's going to take care of them. If they don't need to be in office, it's not our job to sit there and say, oh, I'm going to take care of this or I'm going to, you know, take care of whatever's going on. Let the Lord take care of it. The Lord's got it. If, um, if we rebel against authority and do things that we shouldn't, that doesn't please the Lord. And if we're acting like that, then we will receive consequences. Okay. This saying, this uh, title is not going to help us much, but it says, Further Sayings of the Wise. This is verse 23. These also are sayings of the wise. To show partiality and judging is not good. Whoever says to the guilty, you are innocent, peoples will curse him and nations denounce him. But it will go well with those who convict the guilty and rich blessings will come upon them. When, if you're ever in a situation to say that person's wrong, that person's right, be very, very careful when looking at the situation. Don't look at the outward appearance. Don't look at, well, that person's got nice clothes and that person doesn't. So the person with nice clothes must be the one that's right. That's not the case. A lot of times, unfortunately, in this world, those that have the money, those that have the means, are the ones that won't, whether they're right or wrong. And that's what this Bible is saying. Don't just look at a person and say, well, that person looks nice, so there's no way that they could be in the wrong. We need to do careful research and looking at things and praying and searching the heart and just make sure you're very, very careful with what you say to people and what you do to them. Because what we say and what we do, like that can last a really, really long time and affect them for the rest of their lives. 26. An honest answer is like a kiss on the lips. Meaning, an honest answer is a good thing and it feels good too. Finish your outdoor work and get your field ready. After that, build your house. Make sure you're doing the things that you need to get done first before you focus on other things is what's that saying. Like, a house is going to do, do no good if you don't have food. You know, like, watching a TV show is not going to be a good thing if you don't have your homework done. Like, if you don't get your homework done, then there's a consequence. You can always watch that TV show later. Do not testify against your neighbor without cause or use your lip, your lips to deceive. Make sure you don't go around saying things about people unless you have proof and really, really good proof. Because like I said, you can say something about somebody and it can ruin them for a lifetime. Do not say, I'll do it to him as if he had done it to me. I'll pay that man back for what he did. Don't go seeking revenge for something that someone has done. Or don't just be out to get somebody be like, well, they did that to me, so I'm going to do it to them. It's not a good response. Okay, let's finish the um, chapter. I went past the field of the sluggard, past the vineyard of the man who lacks judgment. Thorns had come up wherever. The ground was covered with weeds, and the stone wall was in ruins. I applied my heart to what I observed and learned a lesson from what I saw. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. And poverty will come on you like a bandit, and scarcity like an armed man. 
Meaning, if we're not willing to work hard and to strive for what we need, the Lord's not going to just sit there and be like, here you go, here it is. No, you have to work hard. You have to work for it. You have to, you know, do really good in your studies and things to, to go anywhere, to do anything. Otherwise, we can't, we can't expect anything. It just doesn't fall out of the sky. Um, so, there you go. That is Proverbs chapter 24. We'll talk to you next time. Bye. God bless.